the sons, the great orators of Tutuwila and Manu'a. Those are the dignity of Samoa that are lying here. Now you guys, you might not be an orator, you might not know what family you come from, what hijib, but when we say those words, those words apply to all of Samoa. Uh, young, old, rich, poor, those words apply to all of Samoa. Okay? And the reason why I'm here is because I want to learn more about my culture and know how to speak it. Um, I'm fascinated with the culture. I think it's a beautiful culture. The whole reason is because, you know, I didn't, I feel embarrassed, you know, and it kind of sucks, but... Secondly, I'm going to announce, secondly, I'm going to in my speech, You've had your sua tauti, the food to consume there, now you've got food to take home. You've probably heard these words a million times when you've heard your uncles and grandfathers speak, but you probably don't know what they are. Once you learn this and your own village, your own um, village is Whalupenga, you start to know who you are, you start to know those phrases. And then where, where you guys, most of you come from, in American Samoa, the Americans uh, took Kukwila and Mangua because they wanted the Navy Harbour. You know where all the, no, in Pangupango, that's where the deep harbour there. We had a drive around and my gosh, yeah, we can understand why that harbour was uh, important and strategically important to the Americans at the time. I met some really good people, some really honest people about, you know, making sure that the Anganu'ufa Samoa was still alive and, you know, connecting with the younger generation which seems to be disconnecting from their Anganu'ufa Samoa. Our ancestors have passed away. They've sweated for us to come this far and it's our job. Part of serving God is to serve your parents, your people, and through all your ways you acknowledge God and you know that's part of acknowledging God is keeping your culture. And they were so happy. They said, yes, yes, come and film. So you can show our children and our grandchildren and our families overseas how to make the eat. No shoes. Uh, so don't be coming here with your high stilettos, okay? Because they can go for your stilettos. They are already seated, Auckland seated, the Tula Valleys are seated. We are going to come in with our other sticks. We're going to shake the Fefe Owl's hands. Just hit the ground and say, Awa. And then the next one, Kauke, Lo, Fionga, Kauke, Lo, Fionga. If he says Kauke, then it's going to these guys here. Your ancestors didn't have pen and paper to write their histories, so they tattooed it on our bodies. Okay? Then everyone has, which is what the Vailolo is. Vailolo is the, the juice of the coconut. Okay? And then we also have what we call Fada Bella. Yeah. I like what Teresa was doing the other day. It's that proud, determined, really emphasizing what she was saying. Perform I too love you. One more thing that really I think stands out and challenges me in this generation is to have young people themselves speak and teach this culture with a passion and from the standpoint that they own this culture, it belongs to them. Thank you. God bless. Appreciate it. Thank you. So we need to have someone, a young man or a young girl, who's tough enough and courageous enough to go out, stand and walk, walk alongside, along that road there and
can tell all of Seattle and Tacoma about what this family did. You're not doing it, you're not doing it for yourself, you're doing it on behalf of your Fifi Ao to thank the family that gave. Alright? We clear? In the Launga or the oratory, you'll hear the um, the orators say, Awange i ngau siya le ko ko, may your to to o never break, never fall. Ah, awa fo inye is solo le fuwe. Do you know what the fuwe is for? The splendor of our King, clothed in majesty. The Lord the earth rejoice. The Lord the earth rejoice. He wraps himself in light. In darkness tries to hide. Trembles at his voice. How great is our God? Sing with me, how great is our God? And all the world will sing. How great is our God? But the last line of that verse. Oli yoli ma die awa le pisa o fa to avi vini o le toa pe ama lo pe ama lo kai au ah you will you will get to crow like the proud rooster when we've done this tomorrow so tonight oli yoli ma die say your prayer tonight. I don't think they would ever thought or realize there's going to be more Samoans living in Seattle and America and New Zealand and Australia and England than there are living in Samoa. Culture's going to die when they leave Samoa. It's our responsibility to make sure that doesn't happen. It's your responsibility now. And for all you guys here today, all, all the young folks here today, um, back home, this is how those kids, they, they, uh, this is how they, this is their get down every day. And I see how great, how great is our Le 
Wale essen, wale tasala, lale le. Ele nga patia sa lima la oktu ang le le male alofa. So, so, so ko la le. Ay matoto si wala atu ng faalo ng tele. Ano ba? Maya ona sa pena tela na. Oya ilipay lalo. Oya ilipay bisal. Epa iye mare ma malu le atso ma futanga. Ya do fale atsua. Epa atsafi mai. Feso so ani mai. A wa de tatso ko kalame ile ne afi afi. O che ti mi ate o. Lanu le lo loto le moana iti mua. E pa pe na le le tutu sa o ata to pa tai. O le anga le le o ta to tu. So ifu o no le tu. Jesus in the class. E wa ya ata ma o mai longa ba o ti mama ba o ni kama ma chosi ni loto. E pa ni da la wa. E ya ano mi fa na o le mo so ni koi. E fa tai. Ilo tonga mahapo, bafikai la tonga kwenye aliwa, mata kufiele mahapo. It's time for us to get back. We say to them, Mom and Dad did not move from Samoa to America to learn the other movie. No, that wasn't their priority. Their priority was to set up the family. Our job is that we believe that God's called us to turn the Samoa and explain it in English so they understand what they're saying. So they understand the life our parents live. That's all we're doing. Yeah, I remember that time like it was yesterday. I read the ticket on a plane and it was one way. And he's been thinking that I'm going on a holiday. This troubled child was getting disciplined a body way. I touched down at Faleolo trying to ride the waves. And getting sent here by my parents cause I misbehave. I can't believe that I'd be here and going through it now. It's either this or face charges as a juvenile. I couldn't speak it but I understood the mother tongue. And now regret it cause I'm headed with my mother's front. I'm chilling in the picky apple munching gullo chips Then glass fungus off, then coke tilted on the lips I'm buzzing out at the buses that are passing through The UB40 CD swinging from the rear view Got carpet on the dashboard from the living room Got tweeters wired all around playing humble tunes I went to school and signed Yale with my Yoda cuz And getting picked on by the prefix was another buzz They gave me 20 cents and told me what I need to buy For German buns and musty singers and what let it slide. I hated it. I wagged school a couple weeks straight. Rolling dough.